All right, what we have here is a vacuum pump and a bell jar, a classic experiment. And what I'm going to show to you is what happens when we put a rubber glove inside a vacuum chamber. I'll put that in there. And this one here, I'm going to tape up top so you can see a little better what it does. All right. Put this here and seal it up. So this is short of what would happen in the vacuum of space if you did not have a pressurized suit. And the answer is that it would not be a good thing. Okay, let me uh, release the vacuum here and you'll see everything shrink back down to its normal size. Okay. Okay, what I'm going to do is put some of these plastic water bottles inside the bell jar. I've taken all the air out of these and uh, squashed them. And if we put them in a vacuum, we'll see what happens. And they sort of return back to normal. If you haven't already guessed, this is similar to what happens at very high altitudes with your bag of potato chips. Or sometimes if you have a drink and you open up at high altitudes, it tends to squirt out a lot. And now as we let the air back in, you'll see the air pressure comes in back into the jar and compresses the water bottles again. So this is atmospheric pressure squishing the bottles. Okay. Are they shrinking? Okay. Right. We're still filming, right? Mm -hmm. So what's kind of an explanation for that? All right. <laughs> so um, marshmallows are uh, have a lot of puffed air inside them, and so when you put them in the vacuum, the first thing they do is expand, 
And yeah. then as they get big enough, the air actually comes out of the marshmallow and they start to contract a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then when you let the air back in, the atmospheric pressure just crushes them. Does it still taste as good? Um, yeah, I would not eat this one, but <laughs> they, they taste very different. Mm. They're, um, well, the first thing is they get cold. What's going to happen here is we've got water in the beaker, two thermometers, one Celsius, one centigrade. Um, and as we put it under a vacuum, what should happen as we remove the atmospheric pressure in the jar, you will see the water actually boil because the boiling point of water depends not only on the temperature, but also the atmospheric pressure. But what's going to be interesting is if you keep your eye on the thermometers, as we boil the water, look what happens to the temperature. So this is what happens when you have a fan, some bits of styrofoam, and you generate a lot of wind inside the bell jar. When we turn on the vacuum and remove the air from the jar, what do you think will happen? You can see all the pieces of styrofoam have dropped to the bottom. And the reason is because there's no air in this jar, even though the fan is going, it's not pushing anything around. There's nothing to push in there. So if I let the air back in, it will be pushed around by the fan and you will see the pieces of styrofoam fly all over the place again. So, in a vacuum, there's no wind. 